What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 10 of Smack Talk here at SmartCatMoment.com. I am your host, as always, Tony Mango. With me, once again, the Dace Man, Michael Burhan. How's it going, guys? Yeah. Going pretty Dace-tacular. Yeah, <laughs> had a Dace-tacular as well. <laughs> We're all doing Dace-tacular in the new year. The last year, if you believe in that. And uh, there's a possibility that the apocalypse might be happening because this is going to be predominantly TNA this time. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> like you said, the world is ending. Yeah, so I figured, what the hell? I'll give it to TNA Genesis. Maybe uh, maybe it's like an offering a sacrifice to a god. <laughs> fuck you, Dixie Carter. There's the fuck that you of the week. Uh, uh, yeah, that is. <laughs> so we will talk about TNA Genesis. We will talk about uh, TNA roster and... If anybody's going to come over to WWE, spoiler alert, probably not. Um, <laughs> a little bit about a uh, certain troll in the WWE, a little bit about a uh, certain troll who used to be in the WWE and now just has his own nation that he's talking to and uh, so a whole bunch of other bullshit. So let's start it off right now with hopefully me getting a question right here on the Ask Him. <laughs> what is it? What do you got for me this week? Okay, uh, this week we have an individual. This is it's kind of Hogan based, so hopefully you'll get this one. Before he was the anti Hogan, and before he start, he was called Booker Man. <laughs> Booker Man. This individual was used to do a gimmick where he used to dress up as a. Well, some called a Satanist, other would basically call it as a as an SM guy. Who is he? This has to do with Hogan? It has to do with Hogan. He called himself the anti Hogan and, and he had some sort of beef with a now deceased wrestler. Wow, I have fucking no idea. <laughs> Brian Pillman once called him Booker Man. Really? Yeah, I, I, you got to tell me. I have no idea. Not the he had a bit. feud with the Four Horsemen, and he used, he aligned himself throughout <laughs> throughout the whole WCW. This is testament to how weird. much I was a WWE fan because I think the only question I've gotten right so far in WWE and uh, ask him was the WWE question. Okay. All the other ones I've gotten wrong. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me. You got to uh, a bit. You got a guest days? He was he was married to Chris Benoit's now deceased wife. Evan Sullivan. There we go. Days man got it. Ding ding ding. Yes. Okay. Where did I win? Now we gotta look at your penalty. Hmm. <laughs> what does Days what win? What should we do as a penalty, Days? What the penalty should be? Yeah, what should the penalty be? He should have to give three compliments to TNA. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be a long episode. <laughs> what? Two and a half hours later, I'll be like, all right, number two. Um... <laughs> Priceless. I think that's exactly it. <laughs> all right. TNA. I'll, I'll figure three out sometime. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about how Samojo lost a pound or two. <laughs> there you go. There's one. There's one. Ding. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so we got a new year. Uh, I'm not bothering making an image about this, and I'm not bothering making it for two reasons. Because one, I'm lazy, and two, uh, I actually think it looks pretty good. Jim Ross has got a new goatee. Do you see that? He looks sexy. Looks like he's uh, becoming one with the Stone Cold character that he loves so much. <laughs> Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! I'm a fan of it, though. What do you think, Dave? I like it. He looks evil. <laughs> yeah, he's evil Jim Ross from a parallel universe, according to South Park. Bizarro Ross. <laughs> he's, um, no, Oklahoma. He is Zod. <laughs> so there goes the Jim Ross go-to. That's all we're talking about. There's not really anything else to talk about as far as that's concerned. Um, quick little reference. The reason this is going to be a short episode this week is because we already jumped on one of the major topics, actually the major topic for the whole week. And that was the, it begins and uh, second begins in 2012 and all that kind of BS. 
uh, with Jericho returning, there is a uh, previous, uh, the last uh, episode should be talking about that. Uh, you could click on that if you want to. Uh, essentially, what we were saying was it was boring and stupid and we didn't like it. And we know that there's this whole thing that, yeah, he was trying to get you pissed off and all that. But my point of view, uh, cutting down to the bear here, if you're not going to go watch the other one, my point of view is that's not something a kayfabe heel does. It's something that a shoot heel does. And if you're not supposed to know that it's a shoot, then what the hell? You know what I mean? So... If you're interested in our opinions on the whole Jericho thing, you could check back at the other video, and there should be a link up on here right now, probably flashing back and forth. I don't know. That is the Jericho thing. Now let's talk real quick about Brock Lesnar. I didn't watch the pay-per-view because I don't watch UFC. I don't find it very interesting, but when it comes to Brock Lesnar, I usually check things out. Now, did you guys watch this, or did you just kind of hear about it afterwards. I watched the whole entire thing on YouTube. It was literally two minutes. Well, less than two minutes, really. I'm talking about the whole pay-per-view. No, no, I just watched that fight. What about you, Dace? I'm sorry, was that... Did you watch the UFC pay-per-view, or did you just kind of check out what happened with Lesnar like I did? I YouTube the video of just Lesnar. I didn't care about the rest. That's just yeah. big... <laughs> So we're in agreement there. All three of us kind of don't care, but uh, something's happening with Lesnar. I'll check it out for a minute. Now, the thing is, I used to watch a lot of UFC pay-per-views um, and even at one point trained in MMA, but nowadays it's literally the same thing. Fights last for merely minutes, and I'm not going to pay all that money out just to watch a fight that's not going to last. I'll stick to my fake wrestling. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, for those who don't know, Brock Lesnar lost to, what's his name, Overeem? Yeah, yep. Astro Overeem. Yeah, so he lost to him and then immediately announced his retirement. So, of course, everybody was going nuts thinking that Brock Lesnar was going to be the January 2nd return, which that would have been amazing if they would have been able to pull that off that quickly, especially considering how much he badmouths WWE all the time. But, uh, yeah, I feel you in that one. The, the thing going around now is, of course, when is Brock Lesnar going to return to WWE? I'm kind of hoping never. <laughs> I agree. I, I hope never. I, I just don't want to see the guy there again. People tend to have short memory spans and forget the abysmal match that was Goldberg versus Lesnar. Which, oh, that match was just so crap. The only thing that saved it was Stone Cold Steve Austin as a special guest referee. Yeah, but oh, the yeah. build was actually pretty good to it. Yeah, but again, it was just really sluggish and slow. Both guys didn't really want to do anything. Which shows that it's a very unprofessional point of view. And when you see how much Goldberg and Lesnar keep talking about how they don't want to do a thing unless it's a big payday at WrestleMania and all that, uh, and they want to fight each other, but it's got to be at WrestleMania, it's got to be a big payday and all that kind of stuff. To me, it seems like it's not worth the effort. I don't That's think so much disrespect respect to the business, you know, and mm -hmm. this is where I get peeved. Um, is, you know, I've always voiced my opinion on the rock and how I didn't like the fact that every time he wants to get on a card, they shove everybody else out of the way and shove him at the main event with guys like Lesnar and Goldberg. They don't even have rocks credibility, right? Why are you going to shove everybody else out of the way just to fit these two guys on the card when neither of them have warranted to actually, you know, get themselves on it? They, <coughs> what, have them come in, work a match, then fuck off again? That's not really going to work. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be about WWE getting the promotion because of Goldberg and Lesnar. It would be about Goldberg and Lesnar need something to have that build be around and oh i guess wwe will take us back it would be wwe taking the back seat because of those two as opposed to wwe presenting those two no, I agree and i you. think i think vince is smart enough that he would look at that and just be like you know what goldberg was big but he was big in 1997 and lesnar was big but he was big a couple of years ago and now yeah of course he's got more mainstream popularity now that he's been in ufc and everything like that and that would draw money. But is it worth 
taking that, uh, swallowing your pride and giving that big payday to somebody like Brock Lesnar, who right afterward, you know, isn't going to be the company man. You know, he's not going to start to being a WWE ambassador and, you know, doing things like uh, going on the Legends House on WWE Network and everything like that. Like, now Lesnar's looking for the bare minimum that he has to do to get a bunch of money at WrestleMania and promote the hell out of himself. And then that would be it. And I can't blame him. I mean, I would try to be doing the same thing. But at the same time, if I were McMahon, I would just tell them all to fuck off. I agree with you because at the end of the day, when it comes to his business, the WWE shouldn't be taking a back seat to people who don't want to be there. Mm. What do you think, Dees? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, what? What happened? <laughs> you guys were talking about Lesnar and Goldberg, and I just remembered WrestleMania 20 and fell asleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think it's uh, it's worth the whole let's bring Lesnar back, or do you think it's going to be the hell with it? We're not going to bother. I don't. See, Lesnar was a star at the time where the 90s stars were still there and the up-and-comers were there. So he's pretty much wrestled everybody but Austin, and I only want to see Austin versus Punk, so no. I don't want Lesnar in the company. Mm. So I think that about does it for the Lesnar talk. <laughs> uh, we're going to switch over a little bit to somebody who thinks that they want to be in MMA and then says that he doesn't and then says that he wants to fight somebody else and then... They don't want to fight, and then they call each other a pussy and black and blah, 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 blah. So we're going to talk with... Uh, uh, no, we're not talking about Angle here, but that's just ridiculous. We're talking about <laughs> Kevin Nash and Ultimate Warrior having a little spat with each other over Twitter, which is uh, very adult. Uh, <laughs> so check out part two, Kevin Nash versus Ultimate Warrior, possibly in the future, possibly not, who knows.